Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you several uh, report, statistical reports of usage uh, that you can find in a team site or a communication site. So the first thing you can do, you can go to the gear icon and you can see this <coughs> site uh, usage. That means everything. So uh, as you can see here, you can see the overall uh, traffic unique uh, viewers, site visits, and average uh, spent per user. You can uh, change it for um, 90 days, 30 days, and 7 days. And uh, below you'll see also popular uh, content. So you see this is a page, and so this is another page, and here we have some uh, document library, documents. Uh, below you can see usage insight you can see if it was accessed through the desktop or mobile and you can see the time that actually that uh, users uh, uh, got to the site uh, and and day if we scroll down you can see also uh, what files were shared as external if we click the three dots we can see uh, we can open it or see the permissions on the right and actually you can also stop sharing if you want so this is on the site level second thing is on a page level so we are on a page here and I have analytics and actually you can see here we can see the page viewers um, here if you click on a thing total number of people who visited overall and here you can see a total number of uh, visitors as well. And you can also change it from uh, 7, 30 and 90 days. Here you can see the average time they spent on the site. And also the page traffic by time and, and day. So you see most of it was uh, at 8 p.m. And it's a Friday. So, um, here we have uh, the page. Um, now, if the page, if the site is a hub site, then uh, actually we would see uh, on the site level uh, more. So I will go choose a hub site. I'll go to the admin center for SharePoint, and I will search for uh, a site which is a hub site. I'll choose SharePoint. active sites and I'll filter by the column hub site where do we see it hub okay let me see filter by so let's take this site so you see this is a hub site <coughs> if I go to the gear icon of a hub site you'll see um, I go to site uh, usage I will actually see here two levels of the hub usage that means the hub uh, with all of the uh, sites which are connected and I can see also the specific site okay so we can uh, choose on, on both if we are on the hub site then you can see here uh, unique viewers hub visitors on a level of 7 and 30 days <coughs> you can see popular uh, content site pages and here you can see news and documents and unique viewers so this is a hub site site usage uh, in addition what we can do is also we can go to the gear icon and we can go to site content and we can go to site settings here actually what we can see is we have the storage metric the storage metric shows us how much uh, storage has been used per uh, document library so for instance you see um, this library catalog has 1.2 uh, megabyte and uh, if you want to see the usage uh, within the, fold, uh, the document library you can see the split 
so this master page actually includes um, most of it and it's 58% of all so this shows you um, actually uh, per library how much storage is done uh, if you want to see on a site level again you we will go to the um, admin center the SharePoint admin center and on a level of the of the site we can see the usage um, the total usage let's look for it okay storage used now you would also have a column how much uh, the site is uh, uh, set to meaning how much storage uh, you can do uh, if I go here and I look for the how much it was set we should see it here permissions policy hub uh, usually it's here I don't see it currently let's try another one ah here we do you see the storage usage um, the last thing that I would like to show you is actually um, that if you go to the site content site content you can see uh, all of the number of files that actually uh, are in a document library so for instance this star library has 616 and uh, this import has 10,000 that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, if you like it, subscribe to my channel. See you and goodbye.